I was coming back from a 10-day training trip and I remember waiting for this flight because this was my last flight and I knew I was going to be home after that and I like walk, got to my gate and then it said canceled and I was like oh boy. So I called my parents and they were of course freaking out because well they always freak out and I was like well what about the USO and they were like oh why didn't we think of that. So they ended up calling here just like telling that I was alone in the airport and that I needed a place to stay and I ended up coming here and spending the night which was really great. <laughs> I was able to get sleep and food and I was able to make my flight in the morning so. Now that I'm back here I see familiar faces especially the um, lady who helped me, um, Susan. I want to make everybody who comes in through the door as comfortable as possible so whatever they need we are here to help them. I just remember Madison and I knew that she was going to be here for the evening and I was so glad when she arrived. I was relieved to see her and I believe she was very relieved to see us. I do remember meeting her and her offering me like food and blankets and pillows and I was just so happy I had somewhere to stay. And to let her family know that she's safe felt very good. It felt very good to know that she was going to be with the USO for the night. And We've got her back. <laughs> Boeing and the USO of Illinois are committed to helping service members thrive, both at home and away. Help someone you know. Support the USO. Find out how you can help the USO of Illinois today. <laughs>